Hi everyone, my name is Jordan Rubasco, and today we are going to talk about RNA editing via insertion and deletion. This is a process in which a guide RNA and specialized protein complexes bind to and augment a target pre-mRNA molecule. Let's start by looking at where RNA editing fits into the central dogma of biology. The traditional central dogma includes just three steps, DNA, mRNA, and protein. However, in eukaryotes, when DNA is initially transcribed, the output product is not a mature mRNA, but pre-mRNA. And pre-mRNA then undergoes extensive processing that may include capping, cleavage and polyadenylation, splicing, and in some cases, editing. It is the process of RNA editing, which we will explore in this video, that changes the, the sequence of the transcript, either by introducing nucleotide substitutions or by inserting or removing nucleotides. The final edited mRNA can then be translated into proteins. Herein, I will focus specifically on insertion deletion RNA editing that has been studied in mitochondrial DNA of simple eukaryotes, kineoplastid protist Trypanosoma brucei, but does not appear to be widespread in other species or genomes. Okay, let us look at RNA insertion editing in detail. At first, we have a guide RNA and a target RNA that share some homology, particularly on the flanks of the transcripts, but have regions of non-homologous sequences in the middle. When the homologous sequences bind to one another, it forms a bubble in the region with a mismatch, as can be seen here. Next, an endonuclease comes in to nick the target RNA. This then allows a two-tase to come in and extend the three prime end of the five prime cleavage product with uridine residues as dictated by the guide RNA. Two-tase, or terminal uridyl transferase, is an enzyme that can extend sections of RNA by adding uridines to the three prime end of that RNA cleavage product as long as there is a template strand that provides complementary A's or G's. Yes, in case you were wondering, in RNA, not only AU, but also GU base pairs are possible. In other words, the two tastes will insert AU into a break in the transcript if there is a G or an A across from the break in a bound guide RNA. Once the two tastes extends the transcript, it disassociates leaving an edited three prime end of the five prime cleavage product. A ligase will then come in and seal the nick, so at the end we will have a fully continuous edited target RNA product. Okay, now let's move on to RNA deletion editing. In this form of RNA editing, it is going to be a similar story where a guide RNA and a target RNA with partial homology bind to one another, creating a bubble of non-homologous sequence at the region of mismatch. As before, an endonuclease will come in and nick the target RNA, creating a flap with the non-homologous nucleotides at the three prime end of the five prime cleavage product. Then an exonuclease will come in and chew off those non-homologous nucleotides. Then, much like before, a ligase will come in and seal the nick, creating a continuous edited target RNA. Okay, lastly, let's talk about the directionality of the guide RNA editing, which always occurs in the three prime to five prime direction. The first guide RNA will come in and bind the three prime end of its target RNA through its complementary five prime end and dictate the changes to be made in the mismatched target RNA sequence. This editing allows the next guide RNA to bind to the RNA transcript at the end of the already edited site. Then, much like in the case of the first guide RNA, the second guide RNA will induce edits further upstream in the target mRNA, allowing the next guide RNA to bind, and so on. This continues until all of the target RNA is corrected, and at the end, we will have a fully edited mRNA that will be ready to be translated into a protein. Thanks for watching.